Hi, my name is Julie Asti. I'm a certified financial planner with Asti Financial Management, and today I'm going to talk about how to start a foundation. If you want to start a foundation, there are really two initial things that you need to consider. First, if you want it to be a private foundation or a public foundation. A private foundation is one that's usually funded from one source. It can be um, a trust fund, um, a family, a lump sum of money um, from just one corporation. It can come from various sources, but it's usually just one, one pot of money or one lump sum that would be considered a private foundation. A public foundation is different, it's diverse, and it's actually funded from many different sources. And there are certain IRS rules and requirements to be considered a public foundation that you should do research on. But that's going to be the first step is to decide if you want it to be private or, or public. The second step that you're probably going to want to do is you're going to want to consider the foundation in terms of the length. For example, are you going to receive a lump sum of money and the foundation's goal is going to be disperse that money to different charitable organizations when the money's gone the foundation is ended or is the foundation going to be an ongoing entity in which you're going to try to give the money to charitable organizations but also retain some of the money so that it can grow and earn on itself so that the foundation will have longevity so you need to really consider the time horizon that you're looking at that you want the foundation to have another consideration is going to be um, the administrative um, Time that it's going to take you to be involved in, in managing that foundation. Are you going to be hiring out help? Are you going to be doing it all yourself? There's also going to be tax consequences of the foundation. Are you going to be doing those returns and preparing those documents and keeping the details on your own? Or are you going to be hiring a firm who's going to be handling that for you? Because there are going to be ongoing administrative and tax expenses and responsibilities related to running a foundation. One of the last things you're going to want to do is to create bylaws, which are going to be the legal operating documents for that foundation. And once you get to that step, the, the last tip comes into play, which is really getting some good, solid legal help. A foundation um, can be a very simple organization, but you definitely should make sure that it's set up, it's structured correctly, it's structured legally the right way, you've protected yourself, you allowed for the ongoing expenses, the tax expenses of the entity, and you're doing everything in line with IRS requirements. So you really need a, a true qualified expert, a legal attorney, to help you set up the foundation. Sometimes the legal person can be on staff and can provide ongoing support. Other times if the organization, the foundation is going to be fairly straightforward and simple or maybe have a set lifespan, it's something that you would be able to get legal help for in the beginning, get the documentation and the structure set up, and then go through and run the foundation on your own for the time that has the funds. But those would be some tips around things to consider and think about when you want to start a foundation. My name is Julie Asti. I'm with Asti Financial Management, and you can learn more about my services or my company at www.astifinancial.com.